Hey, what's going on everybody? Jay Hunter Lee here. I uh, just want to quickly um, give you a, a quick tip on avoiding swingers if you are a poly couple. First of all, you got to understand there is a difference between swinging and polygamy. Swinging is just typically having sex, swapping partners or swapping spouses. And then that's what that is at the end of the day. Polygamy is family oriented. You ain't swapping nobody. You are adding to your to your relationship. So if you are a couple, you're looking for a, a second queen, you build a rapport with that new queen and see how that goes. And eventually you have your triad, you have your polygyny relationship, okay? So how do you avoid swingers approaching you? First of all, you gotta understand something. Swingers are gonna approach you one way and one way only, the female of that relationship or that married couple. The male will never approach you because he don't know what type of energy he's going to get back from the male in your poly relationship. So the sweet, the female always the one to approach. She because she's going to come to the the female in your relationship. See, her goal is to get to you guys through your queen. She's looking for your queen's blessing to have fun with you. So what she's doing is trying to build a rapport with you guys, talk general conversation, and get a little closer to you, do a little flirting eventually, and start doing some touchy feeling, especially if you're at a resort somewhere and you're in a pool where everybody can just see you, everybody knows who, they don't know you, but they know that you're out there to have a good time, and they're gonna approach you. So the swingers are always gonna approach you with, by the woman first. And as soon as she starts to get flirtatious and start hugging and start touching and feeling, her husband is always gonna be about maybe five, 10, 15 feet away. Could be talking to another female, could be talking to anybody else, but he got his side eye looking like this, waiting for that moment for him to come crashing in. So as you thinking that you have a single woman playing with you, flirting with you, hugging on you, whatever, her husband is coming in like Jaws, do -do 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 waiting to have swinging activity with you. But here's how you need to avoid it. First, that's what you need to look for. You need to be aware of that. As a poly couple, women are gonna, gonna approach you all the time, all the time, okay? Whether they are swinging couple or they're just single women looking for couples. Even, they are, even if they are monogamous women, they a lot of them are starting to look for couples now because the poly life is trending. But here's what you need to do, folks. How to avoid it. When women are coming to you, to coming to you as a your poly couple, women are approaching you, first thing you need to ask them is, are you married? Or are you here with someone? Are you single? Are you involved? Because even if they're not married, but they're involved with in, in some other relationship they possibly cannot be involved in yours. And men, do not give any married woman your time, ever. Do not, be willing, do not be willing to sacrifice your queen to have sex with another man's queen. That's not what we do as poly. That is swinging or polyamory. Polyamory is very, very close to swinging because that's what polyamory is, open relationship that both of you are free to go out and fuck whoever. That ain't me. And that ain't my queen. That is not our dynamic. So with that being said, folks, I hope this is very helpful to you. And I'm not knocking anybody's lifestyle. If that's your lifestyle, make the best of it. I'm just telling you that is not me. With that being said, folks, have a good one. I'll see you guys soon.